Okay, so Jade is on Instagram Live or Facebook Live, one of them. And she ends up asking Will a question about some lady that's been instrumental in help fixing their marriage and how that woman's going to be on the Red Table Talk. So Will hits back saying that he doesn't want to be recorded right now. So then Jada ignores what Will just says, rephrases the question a little bit, and then fires back again. That's when Will says, okay, you know what? I do this social media stuff. I don't want to be recording right now. Please give me that respect. That's the gist of what he was trying to get across to her. You can just tell that Will Smith has never really approved that red table talk. And the only reason that he hasn't put his foot down is because Jada must know some sort of dark secret about Will that we don't know. And that's what she has dangling over his head. Which leads me to believe that Jada may have sacrificed her husband's reputation all in efforts to help build this podcast. The thing that sucks about it is because there was no real reason for her to come out with this platform and this podcast on Facebook. Nobody was really asking for it. Nobody was wondering what Jada's up to. Frankly, nobody really cared. They weren't hurting for any money. The family's financial lifestyle wasn't going to change whether this podcast was a success or whether it was a failure. So bringing all this unnecessary attention to Will Smith's life, you can tell he disagreed with this whole idea from the jump. He knew this was probably going to be a bad idea. I feel the same way about Aisha Curry and Steph. Like I know for a fact, there's some things that Aisha Curry is trying to do to keep up with Steph that Steph does not approve of. I'm sure there's problems behind closed doors that we just don't know about yet. And we may never know or we may find out eventually in the future. Like their family's success was achieved through basketball. It wasn't achieved through no cooking show. But sometimes when you can see your husband having so much success in the public eye and in the spotlight, you feel the need to try and keep up when that's just not necessary. It's not needed. Not everybody can be LeBron and be fortunate enough to have a wife like Savannah to where she has no problem or no issue staying in the background, staying out the spotlight, not bringing any unwanted attention to the family. Her husband is the biggest talking point in the entire world, yet we never hear anything about Savannah. We never hear her in any type of controversy or any type of scandal. She just plays her position, she plays her part, and she stays out the way. I'm sure that brings LeBron a great sense of peace of mind and I feel like sometimes Steph, Will Smith, they can be envious of that. They could be a little slightly jealous of that and wish, man, I wish my girl could just stay in the background and just let me do me without having any unwanted attention that we just don't need. I hope Will Smith is doing okay. I know he's probably been dealing with a lot these past two weeks. And to have clips like this resurface isn't really helping because now people are starting to look for where were the signs? Where were the cues? What did we miss up on? It's almost as if someone would have committed suicide. The first thing we go do is start looking for clues, hints. What did we miss? We start scrolling through their page on social media, tweets, Instagram, and seeing did they leave any clues? Did they leave any hints? And that's what I feel like people are doing with Will Smith right now. But yeah, that's my take on this conversation, man. Like if you want to, comment if you want to, subscribe if you want to. If not, life goes on.